Hello and welcome to another two minute tip. We're going to be looking at contact stiffness. My name is James Herzing and I'm a technical consultant here at Autodesk. So there are a number of theories about contact stiffness. By default we have an automatic contact stiffness applied when we have surface contact between two parts. We usually go with something like the smallest modulus of elasticity minus a zero. That's just a starting point to define your own contact stiffness. Uh, something that we found that's worked well for beginners. Another option is to start with the smallest value possible, say like 100, and then add a zero and another zero until your parts don't penetrate any further. Uh, that's usually what I do. The smaller your contact stiffness, the faster your model's going to analyze, but sometimes your parts will penetrate through each other. Let's take a look at the software. All right, so now that we're in the software, we're going to go ahead and start defining our contact stiffness for our contact between our two blocks. The first thing we're going to do is go into the materials and take a look at our modulus. You can see that we have three with a bunch of zeros, and if we look at the next material, we have 29 and a bunch of zeros. So what's this mean? We're going to start by taking 29 and six zeros and removing one of those and putting that in for our contact stiffness. So if we come over here and right click and choose to edit the settings, and when this screen pops up, we can go ahead and click on advanced, and then change our contact stiffness from automatic to user defined. We can now change this value to 29 with five zeros after it. So again, this is just a good starting point for a new user to try and define their own contact stiffness to help their analysis speed up. So we click OK a few times, and we'll exit this screen. We would now be able to run with a new contact stiffness. Well, the way I like to do it is to go into settings and again change the value, but this time change it to something like 100. So type in 100 in this area, and that's a very small value. Our parts might penetrate, but it will analyze very quickly. If it does penetrate, just add another zero and another until you get it to where the analysis continues successfully. So that's all there is to changing your contact stiffness and speeding up your MES analysis. If you have any questions or any other suggestions on tips, please feel free to reach out to me at the Sin Squad. Thank you.